Hi everyone, Trevor here. As I've been showing people over the last few weeks, um, I apologise if it sounds like I've got a bit of a lisp or something wrong at the moment. Um, I actually bit my tongue uh, <clears throat> about half an hour ago, <laughs> but I'm still trying to get over it, so I apologise for that. As I mentioned, uh, over the last few weeks, I've been producing these videos and putting them up to show people our preparations for our upcoming documentary about the homeless. Uh, things haven't gone to plan, and and it's certainly been a learning experience. What we had planned was to get all the filming done before I'd get back into uni, because I'm studying a Bachelor of Screen Media degree, but we've still got a few scenes we need to get. It's been a really interesting uh, weather time here in Melbourne and only until about a couple of days ago uh, we'd hardly had any rain and we wanted some rain uh, for one of the scenes we wanted to film but <clears throat> we, we couldn't get it so we had to wait until we, you know, obviously we got some rain coming. So what's actually happened is uh, it looks like that next week uh, it's going to be a bit wet and hopefully we'll be able to take some scenes and the project certainly needs it. Uh, unfortunately what's happened is um, we, we've we lost two of the main scenes that I, that I planned and while we've got a lot of uh, good filming done, losing these scenes is really... Uh, well, it's uh, yeah, it's made it a bit difficult. Um, I'm trying to sort out what we can do to get past it, and uh, as this is my project, well, unfortunately, it um, you know, I have to try and do everything I can. But as I said, it's been a, a learning uh, experience, and um, you know, I've certainly uh, you know, if I had my time again, I'd, I'd do do things a little bit different. But you know, that's the way it is. So I thought, um, I had had mentioned that last week, I, I mentioned that I thought I'd have some new equipment. Um, that's still coming in, and and I'm sure it'll be in by next week. But I thought I might just talk to people about some of the things that I've learned with this project. And, you know, as much as you can plan things, uh, things just don't go to plan, you know. And you've just got to, you've got to be able to, um, you know, change things. You, you've got to... Uh, Obviously, uh, you know, reality is, is all you can really, uh, you know, you've got, you've got to do what you have to do. So, but it's been, uh, it's been, you know, it's taken a lot of time. And one of the first things I've learned is that um, what I did was I got a cream, I got a crew together, sorry. And, and they've, they've worked really well. I mean, I, I can't say enough about them. They've, they've really, they've worked really hard. They've, they've done everything that they had to do. Um, during our filming week, we, we we did a lot of uh, you know we, we did a lot of filming and and they they just worked really well and and it was great uh, to have that crew. But I've learnt that you know as the guy that's running it, I need you know for the next project, I'm certainly going to need someone else um, helping with the the management because you know what I've been finding and especially over the last couple of weeks as we've started to look at the, the scenes that we need to get, um, you know, there's there's permits that have to be sorted out, there's emails that have to be sent, there's, there's you know, calls that have to be made. And, but also, you know, I have to go out into the locations and things like that. So it's been hard to do all of it. And, um, and, and it's really, it's really knocked me around a bit. So the first thing that I've, like I said, the first thing I've learned is that, that you know, if I was to do it again, I'd have, I'd try and get someone else to, um, to do some of the, the stuff that I've done in terms of uh, management. So, you know, they're certainly sending those emails and, and, and writing up some of the paperwork and things like that, making some of those calls. So, you know, we'll see how that goes in the future. I also think that one of the things I might have done, and it's hard when you're trying to plan everything, is I might have taken my focus off the most important part of this whole project, and that was actually 
what we were going to film. And, and I think that at some points I should have taken more time to, uh, to organize what we were, you know, what we were filming and actually, you know, look at the, the cameras and see exactly what we're, what we're taking. Um, I think that, there was there was stuff you know I, I focused on getting the the radios and and other equipment that we needed, but you know maybe I took my focus off. And I suppose the thing there is that I could probably if if I had if I knew someone that could do it, then maybe I get you know a DOP and and say look he you look after that, which is probably what I what I really want. So it's about learning that you need people to do different things and and getting the the full team together, not just the crew. To um, you know, to handle all the equipment and and we needed people on the cameras. We needed at one point we needed to have one of the guys nearly a kilometre away um, and tell us when the bus was coming and things like that. Just to uh, just to, to to finish up because this is a I said this is only going to be a quick one tonight. But yeah, uh, you know, where is the project? I mean, a lot of people are asking me just where it's at. Um, yeah, it's in a difficult position. And I have to tell you that, um, you know, if someone, you know, was to ask me just what is, you know, what percentage of a chance that this thing's going to actually be finished or completed, at the moment, I'd have to say it's, um, you were probably 50-50. Um, the reasons for that are, like I say, we've lost two of the main scenes. And when I say we've lost two of the main scenes, like, these are... <laughs> These are some of the most important scenes that we had. And, you know, we had our opening scene and and that, you know, the crew arrived an hour late. There were serious reasons why they arrived an hour late. I mean, someone had been killed on one of the, the trains, um, you know, or stepped in front of a train somewhere and, and that had caused issues and, you know, they didn't arrive in time. But at the end of the day, I can understand why they were late, but that doesn't change the fact they were late. And it meant we didn't get the filming we needed as early as I wanted. Unfortunately, we can't afford to do that scene again, which is not in the budget. Um, it was the one, it was the one scene we paid a permit for or paid for the permit. So, you know, you know, to get another three hundred odd dollars for the permit is just not going to happen. Um, plus, we don't have the vehicle, so to get everyone up here early is almost impossible. So the fact is, we can't get that scene again. I've got to try and come up with another opening. And, and I'm, I'm starting to see some ideas for that. Now, the other scene, you might wonder, well, okay, if he lost the start, surely he's got the end. And the fact is we lost it recently as well. I had a really good uh, plot and it would have been a great end to the, the documentary. And we've now lost that. So, you know, this what we're, this what we're looking at now is the, this stuff we hope to do next week it's really in the middle, or the, sort of towards the start, in the middle. And if we get that, it'll be at night, and it'll be dark. Um, we've got enough filming done in, you know, centres and, and what have you, but we need, we need other stuff. And so that's where it's at. So I can tell you right now, we lose this one that we're planning on this week, and it's over. I hate to say that, but that's just where it'll be at. I just can't see it surviving. Um, I also can't keep going the way I'm going for, for, for very much longer. I mean, we need to get this, this filming side of it finished. And what I plan to do is actually, once we get the filming finished, is just say, right, that's it. Put it aside, focus on my, my degree. And then maybe in a couple of months, I'll get around to, over the next couple of months, I'll get around to editing it up and we'll see what happens. Um, and that's just where it's at. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to be honest with everyone and, you know, it doesn't just come down to money. People might say, well, what if someone was to give you an extra couple of grand? Well, well, that would help, but, but that, that's not it. There's, there's things that have changed. There's locations that we can't use anymore. There's, this is, I mean, this is part of, I suppose, this is part of the learning experience in terms of making films. You've just got to be ready for anything. And, and I probably wasn't. Um, but <clears throat> On the positive, and, and I always try to end on a positive because I don't like to be, you know, all doom and gloom. Um, still got my camera and uh, been taking some awesome shots with it. Got to do some night shots the other, actually last night, 
at, uh, at one of the locations that we hope to use when it's a bit wet and it should be good. Um, I've also made a, um, a waterproof cover for this and uh, it, uh, and, and here's some photos of, of it when it's in place and up and running and I'm, hopefully, I'm hoping that that's going to do the job. And it's really now just getting down to the nuts and bolts of it. Like I say, I've got to try and come up with an opening. And, um, and I'll say it again, um, you know, if someone wants to come into the project and help me out with the paperwork and the management side, um, let me know. My email's there. Uh, this project's got bigger and bigger and bigger and it's evolved and it's, it's changed and it's gone into, you know, it's gone, it's, like I say, it's just got bigger. And I keep saying to people that if, if someone wants to come in, you can be executive producer, I'll bring you up to speed, and um, yeah, and your name will be up there as well. But that, I mean, that's all I can offer. I mean, the budget's blown. We, we spent the money. I hate to say it. Um, and that's also a learning experience. But what do you do? I hoped we get all the filming done in our filming week. The fact is, we didn't. Anyway, guys, that's about it. I, um, like I say, hopefully next week I'll have some new equipment. That's come through for some corporate funding. Uh, which is uh, really cool. So I might be broke, but I'm still getting a bit of support. And um, at the moment, as long as we get next week out of the way and we get the filming, get the scenes filmed that we want, we should be all right. But it's, uh, it's a little bit touch and go right at the moment. Cheers, guys.